Hello my dear friends, in this video I'm going to talk about the task for this week. So in this week's task um, you need to build a program, a dictionary program. So let me show it by running. So this is the program. Uh, so this is a dictionary program. In the top middle, uh, in the top center part there is uh, the, like the label English dictionary with dark blue background and white text and on the left side we have a list view of words and a text field to filter out the words on the right part of this window we have the word itself and the definition of this word so initially when the program just opens it shows the first word from the dictionary which is AA also the program has a title and an, and an icon so yeah I'm going to explain um, the code as well. So by completing this uh, project, this mini project, you'll get a point for uh, an activity point for weeks 12, 13, and 10. So this mini project is worth three points. We're going to be working on this project on week 12 and week 13 for two weeks. So let me show you guys uh, the icon so this is the icon file I'm going to share this file with you as well this icon you can see it here it's very small also I'm going to share the dictionary.txt this is a file which I compiled myself by uh, searching for dictionaries on the internet I couldn't find a dictionary that's why I made it myself so uh, it contains the number yeah, like the this is the first word, this is the second word, and then we have like the words themselves on the next line, and on the next line we have a definition of the word. So each word takes like four lines of text, and it should be easy for you to scan this file using the scanner class and read all the all the words from this file. So all these words are located here. I don't know why, for some reason, some of the words here repeat. For example, the word hello, I guess, repeats twice or several times. Let me scroll down quickly. Yeah, you can see that hello repeats three times. So you need to take this into consideration when uh, making this list view here. Uh, here, for example, hello doesn't repeat three times. It just repeats only once. Okay, let me show you the code, the structure of the program. So the, the width of the uh, of this program is 600 pixels. It's like a constant. The width of the left part is 200 pixels. So it's like one third of the width. The primary color is dark blue color, which is right here. And the secondary color is like this grayish blue color, which is around here. You should be using both colors. Uh, and not any other colors and the size of the program should be the same this image uh, is an icon uh, I'm gonna explain this file separator in the lesson and we have the dict file like these are the uh, external files we are using in this program uh, the layout the root layout is a, a border pane right? this is on the top part this is on the left part this is in the center part and the top part contains only the top label. The left part contains the search text field. This is the text field. Actually, so you can see that it contains like the prompt text. When it doesn't have the focus, it just uh, like, like the grayish text here, search. We have a list view of strings that contains all the words. Uh, I guess here we have approximately over 20,000 words. In the center, we have a word label and then definition label. This is the definition label. Uh, you can see that the word label is colored with the primary color and it's slightly bigger than the definition. And you can see that the definition is wrapped so it doesn't go all the way through the window because it's kind of long but it's, uh, it's wrapped into multiple lines. And then we have a couple of data fields like array list of strings for the words so all the words that are in this list view are contained in this words list array list. 
and the words and their definitions are contained in hash map where the key uh, is the word and the value of uh, the key value pair is the definition so hash maps are the best data structure for this kind of application then we have uh, four methods the first method start which uh, like uh, all the logic goes in there I mean not all the logic it's the starting point of this program init layout it initializes the layout of this uh, program uh, like the GUI graphical user interface init handlers initializes all the handlers for example uh, the handler for the action of typing a text here and also selecting a word from this list view are handled inside that uh, method and load dict is a is a method that loads this file reads this file and creates these both data structures fills them up uh, with information with words from the file and this is the first version of the program which should be completed by uh, week 12 uh, in the next video I'm gonna explain the second version of this program which contains several more features thank you guys for watching this video